Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to take one of the questions off of Tableau's a certification sample questions and I'm going to walk through it for you just so you get a feel for what needs to be done. Now this is a sample question. It's on their website so I'm not giving away any of the certification. The question, create a histogram showing the number of sales using sales bins of $1,000. Which bins have profit ratios, profit as a percentage of sales, of more than 25%? First thing we're going to do, come down to sales. There's this option here, create. We're going to create bins. You can give it a new name. I usually keep that name. And then it said 1,000, so we're going to put 1,000 here. All right? This is going to basically give, treat it as a dimension. It's going to give a bunch of different categories for these sales, these bins. All right, so there's the bins. And I actually want a bar chart, so I'm going to put that as there. Now, I created previously the ratio, and they said it's just profit divided by sales. Created that. Bring the profit ratio up to the rows. And that's not, that's more than I was expecting. A thousand percent profit ratio, what's wrong? The issue is that it's summing, it's taking all the profit ratios and adding them together. What we want to get is we want average. Come to measure, select average. All right, that looks more reasonable. Now the question wants to know which ones are above 25%. Two ways to do this. I think they probably want you to use the add the reference line. You come under value. Uh, we're going to do a constant. And we're going to have a value of 0.25. Value, you can see that's on the line, the bar chart. And just for fun, under fill below, we're going to have it be orange. Okay. And so now you can quickly see which bars are above. And if I was really ambitious, I'd change this to percentage. But which bars are above that 25%? Right? So there's another way we can go about doing that. Is we can come under labels and show mark labels. And I don't think this, I always have a hard time with this for some reason. And I think it's because we have to change this to percentage. Anyway. Change that to average so that's the right label, and then we format this. There you go. And so now there's another way of finding which ones are above 25%. And then you would just go and select all that apply. 